Hey folks, today we're diving into the latest Powerball jackpot madness. Get this, the winner of the $1.7 billion Powerball jackpot, that's the second biggest in history, mind you, might end up taking home just 44% of that jaw-dropping figure. Now here's the scoop on cashing in that golden ticket. Lotto winners have a couple of choices. You can either grab an immediate lump sum deposit or opt for 30 annual payments invested in good old government bonds. You see that flashy, eye-popping jackpot number they throw at you? Well, it's actually a projection of the total dough you'd pocket over those 30 years with the bond investment. But the lump sum? That's the real cash that the Powerball has sitting in their piggy bank, ready to dish out. In this recent case, won by a lucky individual in Kern County, California, the winner would be looking at a lump sum of around $774.1 million, less than half of that advertised jackpot. Now, why the gap, you ask? Blame it on the high interest rates currently making the investment route more lucrative. Here's the kicker. This stark difference between the two options represents the lowest lump sum percentage since 2003. Experts, they keep saying you should go for that annuity option because it's the full jackpot and provides a steady 30-year income stream. But guess what? Most winners just don't dig it. Despite the lump sum payment averaging about 52% of the jackpot, practically every big winner since 2003, except for five rebels, has chosen that upfront moolah. Leon Lebrecht, the chief growth officer of Sequoia Financial Group thinks one reason folks skip the annuity is the fear of not making it through those 30 years. Imagine you kick the bucket before all the annuity payments roll in. Your estate could be slapped with estate taxes as high as 40% per installment. Ouch. Now hold on to your wallets because both options are subject to federal income taxes and the IRS can get its mitts on at least 24% of the winnings. But hey, there's a silver lining for Wednesday's winner, who we're still waiting to unveil. In California, they won't have to worry about state taxes nipping at their jackpot. Only the federal government wants a slice. And here's the kicker. The winner won't get to stay incognito. California requires anyone snagging over $250,000 to spill the beans on their identity. The lucky soul who snagged this Powerball ticket, they did it at Midway Market and Amp Liquor in Fraser Park, California. And the night cashier, Duke, well, he's got high hopes, saying, somebody owes me a truck. A lot of customers come in religiously and say if they win, they'd get me a new truck. So I'm counting on that. I'm waiting. So California seems to be the promised land for lottery riches lately. We had Edwin Castro, the largest jackpot winner of all time, hauling in a staggering $2.04 billion dollars but he chose the lump sum, which came to a cool $997.6 million. And here's a head-scratcher for you. Another winning ticket worth $1.08 billion, the eighth largest prize in history, was bought in California in July, but it's mysteriously never been collected. What's going on there, California? Now our government is seeing a flood of winnings as billion-dollar jackpots have become more common. The odds of winning are shrinking, but those eye-popping jackpots keep drawing in the crowds. Lottery expert Victor Matheson, an economics professor at the College of the Holy Cross, sums it up nicely. Because the lottery is all about selling hope, and that's something folks are willing to pay for, no matter the odds stacked against them.